Hello everyone, welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today is part two of our dollhouse living room challenge. If you missed part one, the link as well as the patterns and other information will be in the description box below. At the end of this video, please leave your vote in the comments for your favorite living room build. All right, let's get crafting. Okay, let's start with the floor. Cut two 23 by 15 inch pieces out of foam board and glue them together. You'll need around 100 5 8 by 6 inch craft sticks. Cut off both of the rounded ends. I'm going to use a mix of two stains to get the color I want. First I take the golden oak stain and stain one side of the craft sticks. Let them dry. Then I do a second coat with the early American stain. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area or outside. Then I hot glue them to the floor. Make sure to stagger them as you go. Once they're all glued down, I seal the floor with two coats of polyurethane and let it dry. I also stained a few extra craft sticks to glue to the front edge for a nice finished look. Now we're gonna make built-in shelves. For this part, you'll need this printable. Cut out the shelf cutout and tape the extra piece to the bottom. It should be 11 and a half inches total. Cut out an eight by 15 inch piece of foam board. Center the shelf cutout on the board. There should be two inches on either side. Draw around the pattern and cut it out. Next, I'm going to shiplap the wall. Take thin recycled cardboard from a cereal box and cut it into 3 4 inch strips. Cut your pieces to size and glue them down using school glue. Make sure to leave a thin gap between the boards. Once the glue is dry, paint it white. While that's drying, you can build the shelf. Cut seven five and a half by one and a half inch pieces and two 12 by one and a half inch pieces. Then I cut paper to cover the shelves, sides and top and bottom. I scored the paper so it has a sharp fold for the shelves. Glue the paper around three of the shelves. For the sides, if you're using eight and a half by 11 inch paper, leave a fourth of an inch at the top and three quarters at the bottom. Then cover the top and bottom pieces. Glue together the three bottom pieces. Take one of the side pieces and glue the bottom to it. I made a spacer to help me space out the shelves. It's on the printable. Glue on each shelf. Glue on the top piece. And then glue on the other side. Cut out two squares of gray paper, five and three fourths by five and a half inches, and glue the two pieces to the back of the shelf like so. Cut out the trim pieces from the pattern 
and glue them on the wall. Then I use the same pattern to cut gray paper to cover the trim, glue it on. I also cut strips to cover the inner edge, glue them in place. Next, hot glue the wall to the shelf. Cut another strip of one half inch trim. Cover it with the gray paper and glue it to the bottom to clean up the edge. Make two of these built-in shelves. To make the fireplace, cut out a 7 by 15 inch piece of foam board. Use the fireplace cutout to make the hole. There should be 2 inches on either side of the cutout. Cut out 5 1 4 by 7 inch strips. Glue the first two to the edges. Glue the next pieces on 3 4 of an inch from the cutout edge. Glue the last piece an inch from the top of the other strips. Cut three 7 by half inch strips. Glue them together and glue them across the top of the other strips. I stained a jumbo craft stick when I stained the floorboards for a mantle. Cut it at three-fourths of an inch. Cut and glue the thinner piece of the craft stick to the top of the mantle. Use the thicker three-fourth inch piece across the front. And you can cut out a few of the scrap pieces to cover the sides. Next, I took some brick scrapbook paper and glued it around the fireplace opening. Cut 3 fourths by 7 inch strips out of recycled paperboard to make the shiplap above the fireplace and paint it white. Cut 4 15 by 15 and a half inch pieces of foam board for the sides. Glue each side together. I decided to paint my walls gray. I used a foam roller and aged gray chalk paint. Cut a 23 by 15 and a half inch piece for the back wall. Glue it to the floor. Glue both shelves onto the back wall. Take black tag board and cut out the fireplace insert. Score on the fold lines and fold. Tape the sides to the bottom. Cut two 15 by 2 inch strips and glue onto the sides of the fireplace. Cut a 7 by 3 and a half inch piece and glue the fireplace to it. Glue the insert into place. Glue the fireplace to the floor. Next, you're going to glue on the side walls. Glue half inch strips to the front edges. Fourth inch strips into the corners. And half inch trim along the side. And you're done. Let's decorate. The link for my Sophia chairs and couch will be in the description box below. I found this sticker sheet at Hobby Lobby and used it to make 
all the cute little signs. Thank you for watching part two. Leave your vote in the comments. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have fun crafting.